Oh my gosh. <laughs> I could literally just like, I could just sit here and look at you. Is that weird? I feel the same <laughs> way. What's Dive new? right in. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Thanks for hopping on. Yes, I'm sorry we're late. We were we were practicing and then we practiced too hard. <laughs> <laughs> practice too hard. Oh, I love this. Me too. Me too. Oh hi. Oh hi. I see that. Oh, wow, hi. we've got a lot of people so far. We're almost at oh, a thousand. So exciting. Hi. This is really cool. Hello, um, ladies. <sighs> Oh, we love you, Rachel. Right oh, oh. <laughs> I'm loving the art. Liz, have you been getting art from people, or have has yes. anybody sent you anything? Like, do you have like a yes? I mean, I look at I look at your Instagram every day, so I get to see that. And yeah, then the I, and then I, art and then is... It's been incredible. It's been incredible. Yeah. I've had so much fun, and I've I've really loved it. And I've loved the two of us, and the way that they think of us. Oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> I know. You know, what's so funny is just the other day I was talking to um, Abnormally Adam and he has like his viewers and whatnot. He does a, he does a whole YouTube channel where he watches shows and um, does reactions, like fresh reactions. Yeah. And he was talking to me about ship. Shipping. Yeah. Yeah, I shipping. Did you, did you know what that was? Because I, I definitely did not know. I only did from that. Lost because I didn't know about all of that until someone is like, I, I completely ship you and whomever, right? And I was like, oh, well, thank you. I mean, what do you say, right? When you don't know something, you're like, thank yeah. you. And then finally, I met someone who's like, <laughs> the they're like, oh, you like them as a couple. Like, they're shipping you. Shipping is good. And I was like, because so many different things went through my mind on what is shipping, right? <laughs> so many things. Like, it literally could okay. have been so many things. Yeah. But so, I still yeah. understand, like, how do you... What's our name? Don't we have a name? Oh, there's um, um, Mar Marley Marlia? Marlia? I like that. I like Marlia that. Marlia or um, Tar... Is it Targo? No, Targo. Targo, Targo is... Um, <laughs> Marco has a whole different feeling. Oh, but I like, I kind of like Marlia because it's so Marlia kind of soft and lovely and all those things. It's beautiful. It's actually, it sounds like a really like great name. Yeah. Beautiful name. Oh, hold on, I'm in here. Come in. I'm in a hotel. I'm not really sure why they need me, but. No, come in. Come <laughs> hang out with us. I think we're good. I think they just came to get oh, okay. my thing. <laughs> I love this. So right now we have 879, 880. Okay, so there's people. Aww. Hi, so Kelly. Where is our the interactions? Where we had so much fun together, you guys. I mean, look at this. Look at this one. Look at where this guy. Everybody, like everybody's from like around the world. Liz. I know. I love that. Oh, I know. Me too. Okay, Marlia does sound better. I agree with you 100. percent I love that. Um, Oh, we love you too. Hi, Allie. My best friends in the room. Hi, best friends. Um, so if you guys have questions. Oh, yeah. Or if you just have like little, I'm just I'm open the floor for people. I know that. Yeah. Oh, my God. I hope we get a season two, too. I really do. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Queen thing, everybody. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. I'm at Comic Con and I just got off a panel, then had to run back to my room and then I couldn't get on. But yeah, I here. see your beautiful faces. <laughs> I love that your energy is still so beautiful and expansive, even after uh, uh, one of those crazy rushes, which I understand completely. You look beautiful, Felicia. I mean, you also Thank look beautiful. You. I am so happy to be here with you guys. Oh, I swear to you guys, like, okay, can I just, I'm, I'm not going to say much because people came to talk to Talia and to talk to Margo, the incredible Elizabeth Mitchell, the incredible Ob and Weiss, but I have to at least start with just saying um, what a joy you guys have brought been in my life. And I have never, ever, ever been so happy to go to work every day as when the, I knew it was going to be a scene with the one of one of you or the both of you together because I've just never seen actors just give each other so much love and support and be so 
like accommodating and texting me about each other. I never told you guys this until this very moment. You would text me about each other to say, how can I be a better scene partner? How can I make sure she knows I support her? Oh, oh my God, can I have more scenes with Liz? Aubin said more than one time. I'm like, you're Burns. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys, that please do, you made me cry. That makes me feel so happy. I don't know, Aubin, if you remember this, but in the beginning, I was like, I think Margot has a little bit of a fascination with Talia. Like, I think she might like really, really like her. And you said to me, I think Talia just kind of wants to kill her. And I was like, that works for me. So, so let's, let's go from there. <laughs> I will never. But I was very attentive. I was like, okay, yes, I understand. Ooh, I'm so glad you're thinking so deeply about this. Yeah, Talia just wants to kill her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 100%. I had this big, long, flowery thing of why she was so drawn to her and how after living for 500 years, you're drawn to very few people. And Talia's one of the people she was truly drawn to. And Aubin's like sitting there, and she's listening and she's shaking her head and those, that beautiful face is so expressive. And she's like, and then she said, yeah, that was the, and I thought, oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> how wonderful. I yeah. <laughs> never okay. that. And no, it was when we were our first fight training together. Yeah. Like, us practicing our our duel. Yes, and you were so lovely during our stunt things. She's like, did it hurt you? Did it hurt you? I was like, no. No, no. do more. Do more. <laughs> okay, and so if we're telling, then I have to tell one more tell out of turn, and it is just, you know, this is, we're here to spill the tea. If we're not spilling yeah, tea, yeah. why have we come? Yeah, and yeah. so um, I was like, you know, always Margo is this elegant vampire who's been here for years. The reason she looks like that is because she takes care of herself. And then at one point, because Liz is always thinking and trying, to, I was like, oh, she's trying to get me again. She's like, and why does she look this good? And I was like, plastic surgery. <laughs> said um uh, sort of like vampires have plastic surgery so when they get older they actually have work done so then i was like talking to our makeup artist and i'm like should we do like little scars behind my ears and she's like, oh my god only because i got so excited i was like oh they could just do like one they could do like a thing right there and she was like yeah just like a i have the perfect thing for that you have the app, yeah you have we're, that we're not doing that. that ear filter and I, and I remember though, Liz, at one point, then the roles <laughs> reversed. I remember when the roles reversed and, you know, elegant and you're like, you know, and I was like, and then they're going to invade the Fairmont estate and this is going to happen and you're going to want and she's, you're like, um, oh no, she's going to fight to the end. So you <laughs> got behind the idea. I was like, she'll be in her home and she'll wonder where her husband and she'll go, can I find, you're like, no, 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 she'll be out there kicking some ass. I was like, yes, that's what I meant to say. She'll be in her gown, but she's going to be out there and she's going to save her man's so life. Much. And it's one of my favorite Thank moments. You for letting me fight. I had the best, I, you know, I loved, I loved to fight and it was such a joy because, you know, Amon, you're really good at this stuff. You're no, really I've never, good. I've never done it before. No, I know you move, I mean, beautifully. I never felt worried for a second. You never missed your mark. You were completely on it and completely worried the whole time because you're the kindest woman, right? So you're like, oh, you're okay? You're sure you're okay? And then you go right back to. <laughs> Liz, I just love you so much. I can't possibly, I can't be the reason why you go down. Like actually in real life, go down. I could never, like I couldn't live with myself being like, oh my God, she's hurt. You're, you're wonderful. You did great. Oh. That was so fun. This is fun. I had I've never done this before, so I was super nervous. But look, you can like make cartoons around your face. I know. We were getting into filters before, and I'm I wanna I wanna set. You wanna one. get a plastic surgery one? Um, I really okay. No, no, no plastic surgery for this kind of no. beauty. No. So here's okay. Um, so let's make oh, sure that we tell that the people. Okay. okay, don't do that. See, this is where you guys, I have to be showrunner. This is where I have okay. to turn in a showrunner. Okay, no, no. Okay, no, no. They came to see those beautiful faces. So you guys just tell them, just tell everybody who's here with us, like, what does it mean? What did, wh who is Margot to you now? Like, what did you learn? What is your favorite part? And, and the same for you, Aubin, about Talia. Just let's, let's hear it. Oh my God. Because I really want to hear your answer. I, um, I, I, my answers are, they're not, they're not going to be very profound, but honest, honesty. So honest. my very first time ever doing any of the fighting stuff, that was so fun, Liz, you have no idea. And 
I've, I feel like at the top of the pandemic, um, I went, I like manifested. I was like, I want to do a show. I want to be a part of something where I get to fight and I get to look badass and I almost get to be sort of like superhero, superhero ish. Yeah. And boom, this is like next level. So I've never done any stage combat, but this is, I, this is like life changing. It was really cool doing that. Um, Boy to watch you. I'm squirreling. What was the question again? Oh, what did you say? <laughs> Learn about your character and 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 yourself. That's from. Oh and gosh. Tell us. Um, honestly, Tali is so badass, and she's so she's such a boss that she. I look up to her. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I really. I wish that I could pull those things out in myself in like day to day life. Like I wish I was like Talia. I want to be like Talia Burns when I grow up. You yeah. know. Um. But she, yeah, she's just, she's, she's so remarkable and so smart and so, so strategic, um, but so passionate. She's just like all of, all of the, what am I saying? Words. You do, I just want to be her when I grow up. She's amazing. She's like. No, I love that. And she's funny. You know that thing? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. From the, from the creature. And then when you were outside and collided. <laughs> Walks up and you've got the garbage bag. That wasn't supposed to be funny, though. I know. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be funny. It was. I mean, your timing was impeccable. Like, every time you, like, said, you know, you know, that whole thing, you know, can, I, can I tell him off? And you're like, not if you want to live. All of those things. Oh, my like, God. I mean, I mean, it comes from a place of truth, girl. Like, all <laughs> those things come from, what is that? What do they say? Comedy is, is like, it's literally, it's truth. It's the truth. We're laughing at truth. Like, oh, so, um, anyway, um, let me think on it. I'll come up with a better, more profound answer. What about, what about you, Liz? No, that answer is fine. What about you, Liz? I thought that was beautiful, too. Um, I tell you what, I, I think, well, Felicia, you know, I texted you pretty much every day, but you know, <laughs> but I, I did feel um, towards the end that the song was basically about family and love. And, and I also think that she's obsessed with her husband. She's obsessed with what she's obsessed with. And that, that drops so completely that it kind of eclipses everything else. I just love that. I love that idea of someone who gives up the everything. I think in a way, so there's something really sweet about that. And I, I agree. Yeah. And I want to, I mean, a question I keep seeing, I don't, who is that with the heart? Like, is that you, whatever you're doing, Abin, with your, what? with your filter, with your, what is that? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here. Is it doing oh. something? Oh, okay. That yeah, might be, really Isaac, cool. get rid of that, whatever that is. It's, it's over your it. face. Um. I think that, I mean, I see a lot, um, the question about season two. So I really want to try to, you know, get that out of the way. So people aren't like, I just showed up to know if there's any information about season two. And I don't have any information for you. It obviously is up to Netflix. We are, you know, waiting um, to hear as well. I will tell you what I do know is that, um, and as you know, people who've been watching the show, from the opening weekend, we were number one in the U.S., number two, number three, and then number three globally for almost a month. So we appreciate that people embraced it. But what we have learned from research is that um, people are more people have started it than are finishing it. And I thought, are people like me where they don't like to binge? They like if I really enjoy something, I'm less likely to binge it because I want to savor every episode, you know, once a week or a couple a week. And I don't know if that's what's happening, but I will tell you that our future depends on people finishing. So if you're one of those, and that's a very serious statement, and I share that with you, that we need folks to finish and we need them to finish the way that the algorithms work, the way that Netflix sees it. If you wanted a season two, you would have finished season one. That's the way they think about it. And so yeah. while we had really high record-breaking numbers starting it, we are not, not enough people are finishing it within their short window of time, which is like, are people going to finish it in 45 days? And I'm like, I might not finish it in 45 days. So I say spread the word 
that um, we need folks to finish it so that you can send that message. I know you want to see a season two. I know I want to write a, a season I two. I know that I don't ever want to part from these two women in my entire professional and personal life. Um, so that's all I, that's all the, the news that I have that isn't really news, but it's a little bit of news. No, it's good news. It's, I mean, it's good, it's good to know about for sure. <laughs> yeah. See some of these comments here. Oh, okay. And um, I watched it at least fourteen times fully through. Thank you. I finished it in, <laughs> in one day. I'm uh, seeing the comments. <laughs> I mean, okay. Um. Finishing. Yeah, I'm not seeing the comments, unfortunately. My screen is kind of frozen, so the yeah, the comments okay. aren't scrolling for me. Well, so you guys yeah. have to take over. Okay. Um, Liz, you have like some s amazing fans in this room um, right now. So, so do you, and that makes me so happy. Honestly, I do feel like I have loving people in the world. Maybe that's just <laughs> but it's always fun. Somebody mentioned Lost. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite blooper in filming? I did enjoy our stunt training. I thought it was hilarious. Blooper. Yes, it was fun to watch you guys. Oh, in terms of the stunt, well, not the training, but just yeah. shooting that big scene where the Fairmonts, uh, I mean, where the Burns um, came to the fair, dared to come. And I remember going, going up to Alvin going, oh, my God, the, you know, having the family, I had to fight for that with the director. Like, we will have the Burns come in in slow motion. That will happen. And it's yeah. like, I don't know if we need it. I'm like, we need it. And then I was like, that was kick ass. Alvin, you did your thing. And she was like, my feet hurt. There are corns. I didn't know I was going to have to run in these boots. <laughs> okay. And, and the boots are like five and, inches and tall. High, and the other thing I remember blooper wise from the fight, Aubin was. <laughs> <laughs> and you took your first. I'm a mess, everybody. I was on. a mess. <laughs> no, but you had the sunglasses on, and you go, you take your first swipe, and you're like, I can't see. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's and you're like, did I get you? <laughs> I felt so, can I just say I felt so bad for your double? I felt oh. so bad for your double because she, she looked me in the eye and she said, you can just do whatever. It's fine. Because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. I just like, I can't feel my feet. I just, I really just, I want to get these shots. Like, let's just get this badass shot. And she's like, just do whatever, just do whatever. Don't worry about yeah. me. And I was like, okay. She and I literally just went for it. And her poor hands, she was crippled by the time. I felt so bad. She was okay. She came up and she's like, she did great. I was like, she did do great. Yeah, but her... <laughs> Well, let me ask you guys both this question. Let me ask and um, try not to speak at the same time. Okay. But let me, I know you get too excited because there's so much love. But I, you're both moms. And here you are, you know, we have a show where the, the very, you know, uh, uh, fabric of the show is that these two families are matriarchies. One, a spoken matriarchy, and the other one, an unspoken matriarchy. But what we absolutely have are two badass mothers at the heads of these families. And you're both moms. And so I'm wondering, for both of you, how are you, how is Talia, and how is, and, and this may be a crazy question, but how is Talia, and how is Margot like you as a mom? in some oh. way and how she, yeah and how she most different Ooh. i would do anything for kai yeah i mean he's three so I, mine is a, a little young nugget compared to yours yours are you're old older wait how, how many you how many do you have liz just, just one. one and he's okay. like two so he's massive so so keep going this is such i can't wait to hear what you no <laughs> again not very profound but um, I will do anything for him. And the fact that that scene every single time in eight, when Jack comes back down to the basement and they're gone, it just guts me every single time because I would have done the same thing. Same exact thing. You were um, not, you really did. So good. Yeah, just thinking about it. Oh my God. Kai yeah. was watching it. <laughs> Speaking of, Kai was watching it because he, he streams it on his iPad for us. And um, I just listening to the audio, I was just like crying at the music. Yeah. Oh my God. It gets but, me every time. I tried so hard and I had read the script, but I hadn't got it. Oh, I thought you were so wonderful. 
But um, I think that fears protective instincts, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, that's how. Two hundred percent. I, I think that I have always been a, a, a fairly peaceful person. You know, in my family, I was the one who tried to make everybody along and was that person. I know that shocks everybody. But I, I felt <laughs> like when my son was born, I was like, oh, okay. Now I understand what it means. I think a nurse came and um, pricked him on the heel. She didn't do it once. She did it like five times. I remember sitting in my bed. And I was like, there's not a lot me from running across the room and jumping on this woman right now because she's making my <laughs> cry. Now, yeah. I, a new mom thing, but like I was at that moment fierce. And that's when I understood um, what that means. And I think that that was, that was really healthy for me with Margo because she is indeed fierce about her kids, right? About her and then about her family. And, you know, that's the first time we really see it is when I come down. I'm like, <laughs> give me not to kill you right now right like i think mm -hmm. that's where that comes from is you came into my home i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> philip is here philip i love you oh our little theo is here Hello. i just saw him Yay. Well, that gives an opportunity to ask a question about your about your first kill kids every mama has a favorite I'm an auntie, and even I have a favorite. So, okay, so you both have three kids. So, uh, you know, both of your characters have three kids. Do you have a favorite, and why? Oh, you know what? I, I don't. I'll say the same thing my mom always did. Love all of you. <laughs> like you at different times. Um, <laughs> yes. About, right? I just have to say about both my girls is that they did come up to me at different times. They're like, I'm your favorite, though, right? You can tell me. <laughs> like right now? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's my, I don't, I really, only because I was brought up so completely believe that mom probably does. But yeah, but go ahead. I'm sorry. I was literally going to say the same exact thing. Yeah. It depends on what day, what's happening. <laughs> Who's my favorite at this time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it just, it, it's an ever-evolving just ever evolving. Yeah, ever it evolving. Depends. That's right. It's it's. I love I'm being that. distracted. I'm squirreling over these comments. Oh, they're so good. Oh, they're people. So good. People are funny, Liz. I would. I wish that I could. I wish I could read this fast, but I can't. Um, oh, I picked up a couple. I need to say. And I'm not seeing the scrolling. So if you guys see questions in there, you want to ask just the questions, You're not necessarily reading the comments. But if you have questions, if you see questions, you. Um, you want to answer? Answer them. Um, there's just. Oh, there. Now I can see. Them. There's some. Oh, even Apollo. It, it asked you, uh, Aubin. <laughs> Eleanor did nothing wrong. Did he? Right. I they wanted. Um. What is your favorite line? That's what I'm seeing. So, Aubin, what was your favorite line that you got to see? Got to say. Oh, that I got to say, or that I got to see. That's a question from. I couldn't see the name. I'm so sorry, but if it was. I, um okay the my favorite to see is you oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> when Davina gets eaten <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't I cannot breathe I was cackling I was literally cackling like when that whole thing went down it but made just me you coming in and being like where's my mother yeah I don't know verbatim. I'm terrible with this, I but oh no, I say, I you ate her. I didn't even know that was possible. And my yeah, favorite but then, one, but you were just like, "Where's my mother?" or something. He's like, "I, I, I, ate, I ate her," and you're like, "Ate <laughs> her? You ate my mother?" You know, he did such a good job because I didn't know how we were going to carry that off. But he did. It was great. literally those two. Yeah. Like, that, that that dialogue right there. That's what yeah. That um, and then your favorite line is the one where he, he asks if he can go after his brother. And what do you say? You're at the dinner table? So you say it for me. It's my favorite. Wait, what? <laughs> sure, you got some place else to live. Or yeah, that's like it. That, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got somewhere else to live. Butchered it. I'm butchered it. I know there's a million good ones in there, but I really There are them. so many. There are so <laughs> many. <laughs> yeah, that one I love, though. Oh I my mean, gosh. 
Okay, very good. Sorry. Everyone says my microphone's not great, so I'm just trying to fix it. Liz, I can't even tell you. This is just like secret but not so secret because it's in front of almost 800 people. But I, I didn't know what was happening with you guys at the Fairmont House. No, I didn't because like I wasn't reading that part of the script. Yes. And obviously, I wasn't there when you guys were shooting. Yeah. Wow, you guys had some shit going on. We really had stuff. <laughs> y'all had some. Y'all had some stuff going on. We really but did. It is just remarkable, like was... watching, watching you, and like I just wish I could have been on set with you more often, just so I can see, just the way that you work, because you know that I don't have that much on-camera experience. I mean, I had just that. enough to, awesome. to convince Felicia <laughs> to, to let me take this on. But like, yeah, it's just so, it's so good. And I feel forever, forever grateful working alongside and next to you. And yeah, I just feel like I just learned so much. You're so good. I feel that you're not real. You're, you are, you're such a joy to work with and you're so good and you're so humble and you're no, so No, girl, good. I was looking back when I was watching the show, I was like, damn, I could have did something different there. You know, like, oh. I was just kind of like, not beating myself up, but being like, Shh. That's the problem yeah. with film, isn't it? Is that, um, yeah. don't it, watch yourself. You go on stage on Broadway. Did I mention you go on the stage on Broadway? Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> but you go on the stage on Broadway and you're and you and you have a chance to do something and you're like, well, it's not exactly what I wanted to do. Tomorrow night I'll do this. Yeah, I get right? to do it again. And when we do it, it's just done. So when you watch it's it, you're done. Like, oh, next time I'm oh <laughs> Yeah. 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 No, but it's just so it's just it's such a it was such a good experience. Me too. Like it was such a learning experience. It was like boot camp. It was yeah. like the best best amazing god gifted boot camp ever <laughs> but not boot camp because like i really 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 want to be there yeah no it's a <laughs> me but yeah no oh my gosh yeah anyway I'm, we I'm, lost felicia i know i i saw that her sound was going out so maybe oh we need to back on hey. um but we can t let's see some questions um oh, I too. Yes, I want things too. I think that would be amazing. We never got to see my things, and some people are. Smart. Yeah, we didn't. Um, I know, and I did not get to keep my things, but they did let me try them on for pictures and maybe to walk around and scare people. Like, we didn't get to see your things. Yes, Aubin is doing Hamilton on Broadway, and she's awesome. Wait, I'm literally so beside myself with this right now. We went yeah. the entire season. Yeah. I Without know. seeing Margot's fangs. Well, you know, <laughs> we had quiet, quiet menace. <laughs> wow. Uh, I think there'd be like a little bedazzle at the end. Yeah. We need like a little, <laughs> with like a little, uh, something. Fun. <laughs> um, okay. Hold on. I'm moving uh, my phone. There we go. MK is here. We love Hi, MK. MK. You cute thing. Okay. I'm going to hold my phone. Okay. Okay, so um, you're really good at reading, like be better than I. Oh no! I mean, <laughs> you, you're, you're doing these great. questions because I can't even. They're going so fast, I can't even get it. They said that I should have stolen my things and that we need things next season. Completely okay. agree. That would be fantastic. Thank you. My and now where they're asking our favorite wardrobe item. Ooh. Everything you wore, basically. <clears throat> yeah. Your clothes were awesome. My, my, wait, seriously, my clothes? Loved your clothes, yes. I mean, were, I, think, yeah, I would never wear them in real life. I Although know. that little jumper, the little onesie, um, I love the onesie. Wow, wrong word. But it was the halter one piece yeah. jean thing that I had. Love that. Um, that was the one thing I would have definitely stolen. My, I loved my evening dress. Oh my God, the one that you yeah. fought, fought in? Yeah. You literally whooped ass in <laughs> well they gave it they gave one to me that was like three sizes above so that i could move in it and when i first put it on i was like oh this is comfortable <laughs> and then i put on the real one and i was like not so much <laughs> how about the little lingerie number oh yeah the little teddy that was super did you cool. did you get to keep it 
I just wanted to see if I could make um, Will stumble over his words, but he's such a pro, I, I did not. <laughs> I showed up and he's like, you look pretty. <laughs> No, I love it. It was so beautiful. I should have taken it. I should have took it and just kept it in the bag like a creep. Oh my gosh, it'd be amazing on you. Are you No, not on me. I just want to have it just to know that you were in it. I know it's creepy. But (laughs) (laughs) just a little Ziploc bag. Um Marlia, Marlia, that's her name. Hi, and then people are saying hi MK. Hi MK. Um I know she's in here. Aww. Oh, I love, I love you, MK. We love you, too. Um, so now they want us to divorce our husbands, and both of us get together. That's okay, definitely. so this is a whole yeah. another show. Right. What would but we call next, this one? Next season. Something could what? happen. No, I feel like that has to be a spin Or the offshoot. The show. offshoot with us. Let's see, Margot and Talia. <laughs> you know, we could do a road trip. I mean, I know it's been done, but we could do it again, vampire style. Can I tell you something? Yes. I did not think this until when I was actually watching it. Um, When you do invite me over. um, Oh, yeah. The principal meeting. Yeah. I realized that I do look like I was hitting on you. Oh, I was hoping because I was hitting on you. (laughs) Uh, I feel like, you know how when you're flirting with someone and you (laughs) put out like every possible vibe you possibly can. And at the end of the day... And then you meet them like 10 years later and they're like, no, I never knew you had a crush on me. And you're like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? I was like watching it and I was like, wow, it, it really like the, the lip bite, the lip biting moment. I didn't realize that that looks like an invitation. An invitation. <laughs> but here's the thing is in my brain, when I was doing that, I was really just trying not to say some stuff. Like I was yeah. trying not to. For me, yeah. when it was happening, right. but when it read on camera, it's so uh, like, um, and I have a feeling that, that Felicia sort of probably did that on purpose. She's like, up oh, there's the moment. That's what we the want. The lip bite was not in the script, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm more of a Pinot girl. Nice. I that's the oh, one. yeah. Felicia, what's up? We missed you. <laughs> yes, I didn't go anywhere. I just lost, signed off because I thought the fans just want to see their two great faces together. They've been shipping you since day one, so I thought I would just give them some joy. <laughs> I love that everybody loves that night, except for me. Everybody in the world. It was a natural lip bite. The lip bite. Yeah, everybody. We're talking about the lip biting moment. And then this one says, Felicia, please make them kiss. <laughs> Oh, and someone wants more tests what? in their life. Agreed. Yes, we want more tests in our lives. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> oh, Felicia. See, I'm lucky in that I have more tests in my life. <laughs> yes, more tests in our life. And then someone said, we love you, Felicia. We love you, too. Stay, Felicia. We love seeing your face, too. There you go. I know. That's wonderful. I love this. Oh, they said we flirt naturally. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'm into it. I mean, why not? Um, I love it. Okay, do you guys have questions? Yeah. Give us like some good questions. Okay. What, were your, what were your favorite parts of the season? Oh, great question. Um, That's a good question. Oh, I'm yeah. Asking that. I'm just opening up the floor. Just kind of trying to. I like that. That's good. Idea bubbles. Oh, um, thank you. Um, we love you, Felicia. Says. <laughs> you're so unhinged, <laughs> probably. <laughs> we have insane chemistry. Awesome. I think a question to it's almost 3 a.m. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Where are you guys? Everybody's like around the world. I know. No, it, is, it is the middle of the night. I'm on the oh, East pantry Coast. scene. Someone loved the pantry scene. Um, did I take anything that I didn't? Um, I really do. I think I got to keep one of the lipsticks, right? Did you? Yeah. Oh, keep your, someone's favorite line is keep your fangs in your mouth and we won't have a problem. <laughs> Aw, Texas. Someone's in oh, Texas. You're, you're coming back at um, we'll always have a problem. Ugh. Yeah. Whew, sauce. Have some the fun. Sauce laughing. on that. We really did have fun. <laughs> we really did. You're so good. You're so good. Um, okay, oh here's a good question. What do you want to have happen next season? 
Ooh. Felicia, are you still there? <laughs> I think she's Yes, still I'm still here. I'm just, okay. Excellent. I was like. Like, no, um, I have gone through season two and season three a million oh, times in my mind. Hey. Um, Vic yes. Um, Victoria and I talk about it all the time. We text each other and like, oh, this could happen and this could happen. Oh, what about this? We all the time, like we never stop talking about it because it truly is one of my most joyous professional experiences ever. It's like just like constantly just keeping the ball going. And like writing, writing, writing. So you guys really wrote that far in or just have like the ideas? Oh, no, they didn't pay us to write that far. I'm just talking about <laughs> what, we, what I'm just talking about what we talk about and text each other about. You know what I mean? Um, that's all yeah. I'm talking about is what we text each yeah, other about. Not. We text each other our ideas all the time. Um, and you know, you don't ever stop thinking if you enjoyed it, you never stop thinking about it. You know what I mean? If you enjoyed it, you never stop thinking about it. So I'm yeah. like at Comic Con right now, you know, I'm doing panels. I'm and um, you'll be here tomorrow, Abin. Yay, you'll get here tomorrow. And um, but I'm always if I'm walking down the street. Yes, anything. If I'm walking, I'm like, oh, this would be good. Or when watching it, you see the things that work and you want to do more of that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like For that. instance, like Talia and Margot are fan favorites. So that makes you automatically go, oh, what better uh, Margot Talia stories could we tell in a season two? Let me tell you so, what I'm so, waiting you know, for brings up what I would like to see for it is, yeah and I I really want that that wine get together at my house right like I I really I really kind of long for that someone's like I really wanted to see what would happen if they got together socially and they had to like they had to sit and be together like what is you that know I was talking to somebody about this the other day and yeah. two things that I cannot wait for when, when if and when is that sit down because there does have to yeah. be a sit down for sure. Has to be a sit down. Has what does that look like? With you a know? little Pinot and, and I guess a little Chardonnay. Yeah. Yeah. To see. And that fight between Tally and Jack. Yeah. For sure. That's first things first. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Like, of course. I yeah. want to see what I want to see what that is. Yeah. And I kind of want to see Will turn into whatever he's turning. Into. You. Sebastian. Oh my God, I know. Do you, so is this, like, I have so many questions. Me too. <laughs> I like that though. That's like, I want is, to be answered. So is the snake like in him? Like still in him? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> and then do you think Davina is still alive? Like, can she still inside, like Inside him? Or will, she, will he become part? I really don't know. I mean, I don't right? know. I know that's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, I didn't taste her. I <laughs> see. <laughs> you clever girl. <laughs> it's not terribly original. A lot of people wrote to me after and they were like, and they were like, so what's your mom taste like? I was like, oof. <laughs> Bad, but good. good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, oh. Well, my my be dear beautiful women, I asked you guys for 45 minutes and we are Aww. there. And I just, I appreciate you guys so much. And you're on the East Coast, so I'm, and I'm in, you know, in San Diego and you're both on the East Coast. So I appreciate this time with you. And I'll Thank just end so it much. with one question for both of you. And I, if, okay. if you don't mind. So, okay. When you came to the audition, why did you want the role? Are you kidding? You go so first. Wild, oh, you want me to go first? Okay. I feel like I already said it. No, and I've been making you go first so much. So I, I, um, I've always wanted to play a vampire. <laughs> and it took maybe, um, maybe one, maybe 30 seconds of, of talking to Felicia where I was like, <gasps> I want to work with her. And the first thing that I did when I got off the phone was write to my agents and managers and say, 
I love these women. I, that's what I said. That's all I said. I love these women. I hope it goes my way. That's what I said. Cause I normally like do that and then I let it go. Right. So that was, that was mine. Mine was pretty simple. Right. I just wow. love it. Yeah. So you've never played a vampire before. No. Wow. You're good. But tell me. I want to hear you. You're yours. so good. You're, you're so just good. the right, you're just the perfect mix of like cold, sexy, like, but some just oh god, I don't know. It's just there's a coldness to you, but it's just so hot and so still. Oh, I and like, just, like what was what the thing you think born? What did you keep saying to Sebastian? Uh, to Sebastian, to Will on site? You're like, oh, I'm like the um, tiger, or what did you say, lioness, or? Oh yeah, I can't remember, what? but yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah, and you were like, "That's me." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah it is. that's right." <laughs> I, I can't remember her. what you guys were saying, but it's, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um. And you? I just, Why did oh, you want okay, to you know what? after the other? Uh oh. Felicia? Felicia? Any panel. And um, I always feel like it is sort of my responsibility to leave a little nugget for, you know, aspiring writers because, you know, that's what I am. I'm a writer, oh, yeah, producer, right. showrunner, head writer, first kill. But at my core, I'm a writer. So I'm as answer the question just as artists, as actresses, what is, do you think um, every young actor starting, how to set yourself up for longevity, like and how to be in the space? Like what is the secret to both of your careers? Aubin, yours has mostly been on the live stage and Liz, you've got to do a whole bunch of, you know, film and TV and wonderful stuff. But what do you think? I know what this, I know what your, your, your secret sauce and your, is for me, I know what I consider your superpowers from a showrunner's point of view, um, I can answer that. But I'm really interested, and then I'll bring it home um, with my answer last. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think is the secret to, you know, doing it well and setting yourself up for longevity? Go ahead, Aubin. I want to hear. Oh. Yeah. Anything that I do or I choose to do, um, I do it because I love it. And I don't think about it as a job. I mean, I still, like, at the top of the day when I have to, when I go into Hamilton and I sit down in my dressing room and I just, like, sit there and I'm just like, holy crap. I look at my costumes and they pay me to play dress up every day. What? That is amazing. How fun is that? So I feel like when... If you're an, if you are an aspiring actor, producer, you know anything in, in front of the camera, behind the camera, just love what you do, and 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 pick pick things wisely and and um, have fun. Oh, I love that. I feel oh. the same way. I was gonna say love. Um, I love what I do. I don't know how wise I am about it, but I don't do things unless I'm actually intrigued and already falling in love it's like a really wonderful first date and as far as longevity goes you know I think I'm so very much older than you Aubin, but I but I have loved that same reason which is just loving it right yeah. absolutely just loving it and being filled with passion about it and being a child like having that child mind having that that way that you see it and you get up in the morning and you can't wait to say those words and I and I just also want to say super quick from me and from Aubin and from Felicia we're so grateful to all of you out there um I know that you guys are our, our you know our our hardcore loves out there and we are we just you guys have been absolutely fantastic and thank you for being here yeah thank you keep streaming shout out to thoughts it's not too late we all right Felicia oh, you go ahead Boss Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll hop off. You are the best. Thank you for chiming in, guys. And thank you for oh, so us. And Liz, it's always so good to see your face. Holy. Can I just have a moment? Right. I just have to, yeah. wait, I'm going to screenshot this. I'm going to be that creep. But I'm going <laughs> to more creepily. I'm going to cover myself. 
Just like don't your... do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, oh, you. I'm giving you. I can't believe we're on the same coast, but I'm I'm way down on the south. Wait, where are you? I'm down what? in Charleston. I know. Yeah, I know. It'll be I'm, fun. I'm kidnapping. Oh, Felicia, you're back. Oh, Felicia, you're back. Okay, oh. we're signing off. Okay. Thank you, Felicia, so much for doing this for us. Thanks, Felicia. Yes, my sound is now so bad. I don't know if it's because I'm on the 15th floor of this hotel, but my. Oh, okay. We're losing you. Um, oh, and no, losing thank you. you, thank you, thank you for giving us this time, for giving miss, me this time to share with you and to share you with your fans who've been wanting to talk to you both and see you guys together and hear what I already know, how much you love each We do. Um, <laughs> what a family we have and how much fun it is. And, and I would just say that if I could answer the question about the two of you, um, it is absolutely, I have to tell you, as a showrunner, it is absolutely your daily prayer is like, and dear God, bring me actors who respect the written word, who are thinkers, who come to you and say, can we try to make it better? Who are always there for each other and um, are always thinking and know that we're in collaboration with each other. Um, there, I mean, both of you guys have shown up at times like with no notice, like, hey, here's your new scene. And um, and the audience would never know you just got that two hours you had. So I just want to say thank you guys. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy it is to work with you, to know you, to still send our text going, hey, what you doing? How's your day? I love you. You're beautiful. That's our real hearts. And um, I'll see you, Aben and Kai, tomorrow. Elizabeth, as always, I'll see you in my dreams. And um, and I look forward to to work. I look forward to getting back to work. Um, so thank you guys so much, and thank you everybody who tuned in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your questions that were going by so fast that we couldn't get to all of them. But you can still feel free to post them Aww, on our answer questions. <laughs> all right, you guys have a wonderful okay. night. All right, bye. Thank you, and thank you, Isaac. Thank you for for moderating on my on my behalf. And you can, um, and we'll hope to see you soon. Bye, guys.